there are other things that I can do here. If you listen, I'm kind of came in late on this one, so I don't get the whole one. One, two, three, four. And then I come in early on the four down here. kind of sounds rushed. So what I can do is I can disable the quick swipe comping by clicking this button here, and it turns into a pair of scissors. And once it turns into a pair of scissors, then I can treat these takes just like regular audio regions, and I can edit, manipulate, and move them around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to access my marquee tool here. And I'm going to split this region down here where I say the one a little bit better. I'm going to move this down this way and drag this part out. I really just need this one to be there. And I'm going to move that part over. I'm going to get rid of this one in the middle. So I just have that one and this one. Oh, well, let me bring that back. See, I can trim these back out to get the different ones. And I'm going to trim this part in move this piece over. So now I'm going to also edit this four. I'm going to click in here and I'm going to trim away some of the end of it. And then I'm just going to move it over some so it aligns. Uh, let's trim the front of it some. And I just want to align it with that three there because I know that three came in in time. Drag that back out. So now I'm going to turn back on my quick swipe editing and I'm going to select this. Let's see what this sounds like. One, two, three, four. I need to eliminate this. Drag this over. There we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It sounds a little bit better. I mean, if I really wanted to manipulate, I could move this over that way a little bit. But as you can see, I was able to go in and edit inside of a take just like it was a regular region. I can also move my entire selection left and right by putting my mouse over a selection and then dragging it left and right this way. So you have the ability to quickly swipe to create your composite and then able to edit the actual regions and edit and manipulate where the comps start and end at. Now, let's say for instance, I'm saying, okay, this is a cool composite or a cool combination of the different takes, but I wanna try a variation of it. What I can do is keep this or save it by going here and right now it's called Purple Comp 2. Let's rename that. And I'm going to rename it 1234. It returns. So now it's called 1234. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate that comp, essentially saving it. Now that I duplicated it, you see this is comp B and it says comp B here. I'm going to name this one also. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to say rename comp and I'm going to name this 4321. All right. And now I need to make this comp say 4321. And I can simply do that by moving this take that's at the beginning from the number one up to the number four. And I'm going to move this number two comp to the number three. I'm gonna move this number three to the number two. And then I'm gonna move the number four selection down here to number one. Stretch this out across the end here. Four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one. All right, so I need to edit this here a little bit. Looks like I didn't get all of this from up here. Let's get rid of this. All together. Four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one. And so in this case, I got the four coming in early, right? So if I really wanted to do some surgery here, click that, edit this here. Let's get rid of this four, move this four over while it lines up. And then go back into my quick swipe comping, make this four. Four, three, two, one, four, three, two. One, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one. Still a little early, but you get the picture. So now this is four, three, two, one. So now if I say, okay, don't like that comp, want to go back to my one, two, three, four, I go back to comp A, and now it's back at one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four.